better time. So it's just delayed tactics right now. But we'll get it done. We can't get Texas from Georgia, man. But yeah, yeah I spray. Like it. New undercover video from the Undercurrent TV shows Texas State Representative Matt Kraus agreeing with the statement, we can't have Texas become Georgia when it comes to why Republicans are trying so hard to ram through a voter suppression bill. The undercover video was taken Saturday when both the Texas House and Senate convened for a second special section ordered by Governor Greg Abbott. But Texas Democrats were able to prevent a quorum in the House for the third time this year. But according to the Associated Press and others, there may be signs that still may is thawing. The AP writes, two of the Democrats who decamped last month returned to Austin Saturday, and one of them said enough of his colleagues may also begin trickling back to secure a quorum next week. Where that leaves Republican uh, Texas voting suppression bills is quite concerning. Joining me now to discuss is Texas State House Democrat Jasmine Crockett. Representative Crockett, what do you think of this video that we saw uh, out of the Republicans uh, in the Texas legislator, legislature? Yeah, so first of all, it's, it's great to be with you. Um, you know, basically, we saw them saying out loud um, what we've been screaming for months is that this isn't about um, any fraud or anything like that, it's a power grab. We heard numerous me members in that video say, we're gonna keep Texas red, we're gonna make sure we pick up some more seats. You know, they're talking about gerrymandering, which is next up on their agenda because we're about to do redistricting. They're also talking about making sure that counties like Harris County, who has been the subject of this bill for so long, do not expand access to the ballot box Harris County tends to be, well, a little bit more diverse than some of the other, other portions of Texas. And so they don't want that diverse population to have a voice. When you look at Texas, Texas is a majority minority state. But if you look at that floor on the House or the Senate side, it doesn't seem to reflect who we are as Texans. So then why are Democrats returning to the state and as that one representative said, providing enough people, Democrats, in the chamber for them to create a quorum and then go ahead with, and pass the legislation? It's a million dollar question, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's been really hard for me. I'm a freshman. I'm obviously a little bit more progressive. I'm a civil rights lawyer. So certain things, I just can't really see the compromising on that especially when I know the history of what it took for us to get to this place that we even had access to the ballot box at all, right? So to me, you know, right. like being uncomfortable for a little while is not really a big deal compared to what John Lewis went through, compared to the fact that we lost Martin Luther King, compared to what we saw so many do to make sure that these rights even existed. Um, you know, we talked about this as a caucus, the agreement was that we would still deny quorum. Um, so, you know, it looks like our numbers are razor thin, but as of now, we're still holding out. Um, we never really got an answer from our colleagues about why go back. Some of them are like, well, they're just gonna do what they wanna do anyway. Um, but the reality is that we're still waiting on a vote from the Senate. And at least if the Senate lets us down, we can say that we've done everything that we could, right? But if certain laws pass, before we get any answers from the Senate, or if it seems like we've given up, then that means that the Senate is off the hook. And I'm not trying to let the Senate off the hook because they need to do their job. Right. They need to get this passed. And, and Governor Abbott had threatened to arrest you guys and drag you back to the floor, but a judge has signed an order that blocks him from doing that. So what, 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 what is the forcing? What is forcing Democrats to go back to that state? I don't know, it's a, it's I, a head scratcher. Uh, I, no clue. <laughs> no clue. We, in fact, we <laughs> as um, members of the caucus, we put our own together and paid to get legal counsel to jump in this. I mean, that order was signed last night on a Sunday night. We had our lawyers working through the weekend so that those that needed to go home because they needed to get their kids ready for school or whatever, that they could go home without this threat looming over their head. 
So we've spent money. So I'm like, listen, if y'all giving up the ghost, y'all should have told me before we started dropping that. Like, I mean, we literally like are paying money. So <laughs> you could have saved your money, right? <laughs> I, exactly. Could have saved my money. But we're holding right, so, out so, for now. So, um, I, so I'm believing. <laughs> Uh, all right, I see. I see. You, I see that you're still in DC, and, that's, and that is fantastic. Uh, by the way, so say, seeing that you are still in DC, do you see any movement in the Senate uh, from the last week when you were there? Yeah, I mean, we've had conversations on the House side as well as the Senate side. Um, in fact, I talked to Senator Warnock on, I guess, a week ago today. Um, we are confident that there is a new voting bill that's coming out. It's my understanding that uh, Senator Manchin had a lot of input on this new voting bill, as well as Senator Warnock um, on this bill. And so, you know, we've been told that they will vote on that before the summer recess. Now, there are the naysayers that say there's no way it's going to pass. I don't know what's going to happen. When we got here, they told us that we couldn't get anything done. And so now here we are. Um, we're getting a new voting bill right before the summer break so wait, you, wait, you know, you, you, i think that it's, but before the summer break that means so, so you're saying that they're going to vote in the next week or two they're work, they're voting this week it's our understanding obviously the infrastructure took okay you know the the shine right uh but it's my right. understanding that we should anticipate a vote maybe on wednesday or thursday so they're voting this week so that's another you, thing i'm like so y'all couldn't just wait so do you do you, is your understanding that it will be included in the budget bill or will it be a standalone bill a standalone bill that they have been working on they okay. have been drafting it for at least about that we know of at least um probably about two weeks or so so it's supposed to be rolled out we didn't know if it would get rolled out before the summer break but it's supposed to get rolled out and voted on and 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 who told you that it was going to be voted on this week we got information from um, Senator Merkley as well as um, Schumer said it would be before they broke. He didn't say exactly when, but here recently we're being told it is this week. And we had a call with AOC uh, today who also confirmed what we have been hearing. Um, and I want to say last week, um, someone from uh, Speaker Pelosi's office had communicated the same. So we are absolutely anticipating a vote this week which is why a number of us, the majority of us, stayed back so that we can continue to lobby um, and hopefully get that bill done. And it is your intention to stay there until there is a vote? Absolutely. Jasmine Crockett, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we really salute what you're doing there in DC. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you.